This video is going to show how to use the grade transfer extension to copy grades out of a Google Sheets or Google Docs or Google Slides or any PDF at all that includes some sort of a grade book. So the way this works is you highlight the students' names that you want to transfer over and then using on a Mac, it's the command or Apple key, on a Windows, I believe it would be the control key. While you press that and hold it, you can select another column um, in Google Sheets. So now that I've selected two columns, um, I can either do control C or command C or Apple C, whatever the shortcut is, or just come up here and go edit copy. Now when you do this, this copies it onto the clipboard in your operating system. Grade Transfer has a built-in functionality with this little clipboard icon right here. If you click it, it will access the data that is on your clipboard that you have just copied there and import it into the Grade Transfer app so it can then transfer it and sort it into your gradebook. So here are the 23 students that we have in our roster, student one, two, three, four, five, all the way to 23 with their corresponding grades from this specific column. So just to double check, student number 23 should be an 18.5, student number 23, 18.5. Excellent. Now you don't have to select the entire column. You could select just a few of the students along with just the corresponding grades. Let me press command here or control if you're on a Windows and do a control C key press on my keyboard. If we're to do the clipboard icon again, and it will override what's in my briefcase. So we got those three students, student six at a 19, student seven at a 24 and student eight at a 24. So now those are the three grades that are in my little storage briefcase that I can then take into my grade book to sort and fill. If I ever get confused about what's in the briefcase, there's a view button right here and it will list it for me again, just so I can double check. Now your grade book might not be formatted exactly this way, um, which is perfectly okay. So grade transfer works with any of these configurations that we have here. We're just gonna go through them rather quickly. Um, it doesn't matter if it's the last name, comma, first name configuration or last name, first name without a comma, or even if the last name is on a different column than the first name. These are just going to be called A, B, and C. So in this example, you can see what, which one's which and how we're grabbing the grades. The way to use this, if you highlight the columns that contain the names, in this case also, I'm going to include the columns that include the grade itself. If you go up here and select copy, or you can just use the keyboard shortcut, uh, followed by the clipboard icon in Grade Transfer that will pull in all of this data from here into the Grade Transfer app. So you can then go open up a new tab or a new window into your gradebook and click the fill data to have it automatically sorted in your roster. Um, let's just see that this worked. Last name, first name. Let's see, version A should be a 91, which it is. Version B should be an 88.745, which it is. And version C should be a 93. Okay, so that's working perfectly. Um, to show you one last thing, uh, let's select the names, hold down the command key or control key, depending on your computer, to select another column. Let's copy that. Um, if we import this into the clipboard, clipboard icon, there we go. Great Transfer actually grabs only the one of these that is a grade. So feel free to highlight the entire roster with the entire column of grades, even if you include zeros in there and nothing's in there, or actual grades in there, Grade Transfer will target only the grades and their corresponding names uh, and siphon out those things because they're, these two individuals don't really matter in terms of transferring grades because they have no grades to transfer. This individual has a grade of zero, they probably I don't know, we're cheating on a quiz and they got a zero for it or whatever it may have been. Um, a zero as a teacher, you know, is very different from not having a grade in there yet. Um, the same thing happens if you have text in there. So I'm going to copy. Let's look at the clipboard icon now. And two of them, the only ones that come through are the actual grade ones. The word absent is not identified and brought into the little briefcase for us. 
there to transfer. So we only have the two grades actually come through. 